Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today I want to talk to you about turtles. I did a video earlier in the year that went over two of the turtles you see in front of you, specifically this one on the bracelet and this one on the strap. Since then, uh, about a month ago or a couple weeks ago, we got in two more turtles, which are this one here and this one here, the Pepsi and the blue. I want to do a video one more time to show all four to you in front of the camera. Uh, this video will not include the Patty Diver since that one was already done. I wanted to do the four base models so you can see them all. And I'm going to compare and contrast it again to the existing SKX uh, that everybody pretty much knows. Uh, so I'll pick up each one, bring it up to the camera, talk about it, and I'll try on uh, one of each uh, later on in the video so you can get an idea of what it'll look like on your wrist. So I'm going to start with the SRP777. This is a model that was available earlier in the year. It's a standard black dial model with a black bezel on this really nice Seiko rubber strap. The strap is new for these models as well. As again, this is model SRP777, and I'll share with you the commonalities between all four models. So all four are going to be 45 millimeters in case diameter. I'm measuring that from the 3 to the 9, so straight across. Uh, because it is a, a turtle case, as you can see, it kind of looks like a turtle shell, this outline here, or a cushion case design. Uh, you can go straight across, and there's no crown in your way, and it's around a 45 millimeter. Thickness. It's around 12 and a half millimeters thick. And tip to tip, which is a very interesting dimension on this watch from here to here, is only 47 millimeters. And usually on a watch of this size, you would expect the tip to tip to be 50 or over. Uh, but because the lugs are so shortened and stubby, because of that turtle case, it really is only 47 millimeters. So it's actually not quite that different from the SKX007 or the SKX009. Let's get into a little bit about weights. This guy here is 122 grams. On the stainless steel bracelet, which I'll show you in a minute, on this nice uh, 22 millimeter bracelet, it's 194 grams. So the bracelet is very hefty on these. It's got a screw down crown at the four o'clock position right here. So you'll unscrew it, it'll pop, and then you'll be able to pull it out and set the date and set the day. It's a two language wheel, English and Spanish. You set the date according, uh, excuse me, you set the language according to the instructions. You pull it out two clicks and you can change the time. This does use the Seiko 4R36 movement, which is hand windable and hacks, which means when I pull out the second, the, when I pull out the crown to set the time, the second hand stops. See it stopped, push it back in, it'll start. To reset the crown, you push in and turn and as you turn, you hear the watch winding, that is acceptable, and you do it until it's snug. And when the crown is seated, that's when the watch will maintain its 200 meter water resistance. All of these watches are ISO rated divers. If you haven't watched the video we did on ISO rated uh, water resistance, you may want to review it. It's a uh, watch and learn number five and number six. So ISO 6425 requires uh, a multitude of items to be tested, not only the depth. Um, there's also strength of spring bar attachment, there's anti-magnetism, uh, there's inadvertent rotation of the bezel, there's bezel markings, dial reading, etc. All four models will use Lumabrite as the primary luminescence for the dial and the hands. Wow, look at that. Super duper bright. They all are in this matte finished turtle case, solid case back, screw down. And they all take a 22 millimeter bracelet or strap. So now this is a major upgrade from the strap that was on, or that it is on, the SKX. The SKX also uses a 22 millimeter strap, and I'll bring it up later. Uh, but it's nowhere near the suppleness and just the overall feel of it uh, that this one gives. And look at that. Look at this keeper, the Seiko branded keeper. See how thick that is. It's gorgeous. All four models will have Seiko's Hardlex crystal material. Uh, it's harder than mineral, not as hard as sapphire. Uh, it's fairly scratch resistant, but certainly not scratch proof. And also retails, I know a, a lot of people always ask for price. They're going to vary. The two on the rubber strap will be less expensive than the two on the metal strap. Generally, they're sold at around a 25% discount. So the sticker price that you see, usually we discount them around 25%. 
Uh, so they're around 475 to 495, depending on the strap attachment. Now, of course, you may have heard me say it before in the past, Seiko has moved a lot of the divers up to the Prospects line, short for professional specifications. All four models I'm going to show you are not going to have a K or a J at the end of the part number. I'm going to show you the box that these come in when you buy them from us. SRP777. This is a USA watch. You'll see it says Japan movement at the bottom, but they are not made in Japan. I'm going to show you the 773, the 775, the 777, which is this one, and the 779. They're all USA models, so no J's or K's on the end. They are not made in Japan. The movements are, uh, but they are not made in Japan, and they are not international models. So these carry a Seiko USA warranty, as we are an authorized dealer. So that's enough about this one. I'm going to bring up again really quick, because I've already showed you this one in another video. This golden version or black and gold we're looking at the same exact watch guys uh, nothing's different same movement same everything same case dimensions the weight is a weightier obviously because of the bracelets 194 grams beautiful flip lock bracelet nice oyster style bracelet solid links the only difference here is the dial the bezel and the hands so the hands here have a gilded color they're golden uh, but it's going to be the same loom, same everything else. 120 click bezel, I don't think I mentioned that before. So that's it for the original ones. Now the two that were released this year, or later this year, first one up is this guy. This is the, excuse me, SRP779. So this is the Pepsi. You have a black dial, a Pepsi bezel, the red and blue. I'm going to just bring up for comparison the SKX009. Kind of like its little brother. They really, you know, they echo the same look, but they're definitely different watches. A round case versus a turtle case. The hands are different. The indices are different. Just a different looking watch. And certainly, as you can see, a bulkier watch. So this weighed in, the 009 weighed in at 106 grams. This guy weighs in, again, at 122 grams. So there's a considerable difference, uh, about 10% between the two, and that's, again, that's just due to the case size. So this all, again, comes on this beautiful strap. We do sell these straps separately. Uh, just as a, a point of interest, uh, the straps that come on the 007s and the 009s I just showed you, these more of these, uh, they're definitely, definitely a more plasticky feel. These we sell for around 20 bucks. The straps on here, we sell for about 40 just a major difference. The quality is so much better. And you can probably see it as I'm holding it. The, the strap for the turtle is really much softer and bends so much easier. So right, I'm just going to show you a loom shot again because I'm just so impressed by the luminescence of these. Uh, they really do a, a great, great job. And then the last one to show is the new one, another new one. This is the blue dial, blue bezel. This is the SRP773, as you can see it there. So now we have a blue dial and a blue bezel, 120 click bezel. Same watch as the black and gold one I showed you before, same bracelet, same class. Did not mention it before, but the new 4R36 movement beats at 21,600 beats per hour. And if you've watched any other watch and learns, you'll know that correlates to about six uh, not it correlates to about it is six ticks per second so if you could freeze the seconds hand and watch it in slow motion it would be moving six times for every second so this is this nice blue dial in this matte finished case with the polishing underneath solid screw down case back 200 meters all the same stuff. I did want to mention that the 007 and the 009 watches, when they're on their Jubilee bracelets, they weigh 147 grams. So they're actually close in weight to one of these on rubber. Uh, this was 122 on rubber. Uh, so there's only, what, a 20 gram difference with the, metal with the metal Jubilee bracelet to one of these just on a rubber strap. So it just gives you a feel for the Turtle being a I want to say a better built watch because the 007, 009 is virtually bulletproof, uh, but more of a heftier build. Definitely looking for a larger feeling watch. 
The 007s and 009s, you may recall, use a 7S26 movement, which was non-hand winding and non-hacking. So that was definitely an upgrade here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to I'll put this one on my wrist and also the Pepsi so you can get an idea of what it might look like. My wrists are kind of small. You've heard me say it before, around six and three quarters of an inch. Uh, but it'll give you a feel for what it'll look like. And I'll also pop on the 009 that I have here just so you can get a good comparison. So here it is on my wrist. It actually is not too big at all. It fits me rather well. Um, I wear a 007 anyway, so this is only another one millimeter or so larger in lug tip to lug tip. So still quite the comfortable watch. Here's that rubber strap Pepsi version. Same watch, same size, same everything. Still fits comfortably. You can see the lugs do not extend past my wrist. Very comfortable strap. I probably actually have it tighter than I would normally wear it, uh, but that way it doesn't flop around on my wrist. And for comparison, here is the 009. You can see the lugs, you know, looking at when you compare it to my wrist size, the lugs do not extend uh, much farther or as far as the, they did on the turtle. It really fits pretty much the same. The watch is just less bulky, less round, if you will, maybe less oval or less cushiony. Uh, this is definitely a more round watch. But even though the turtle is a bigger watch, I would say it wears just as well as the 007-009 would. So this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you two of the newly released Seiko USA Turtles, SRP773 and SRP779. Again, I say Seiko USA because these are sold on the international market uh, by, other Seiko by other Seiko distributors. Seiko USA, which is the only Seiko distributor in the United States, uh, just came out with these watches a week or two ago. Uh, so these are made for the USA consumption, uh, and we have them now. If you've liked this video, please like it now. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so at this time. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.